Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we're at episode number one of season two in the Newcastle Financial Takeover Career Mode in FIFA 20. I hope you guys are excited for the new season with Newcastle. Obviously as you could tell in the last um, episodes we did win the FA Cup against Spurs and we also managed to get um, into the top five so we are guaranteed Europa League for this season. Now, for this episode, there's not gonna be much, there's gonna be no transfers actually being done. Um, I'm just gonna get the preseason out of the way uh, and then let you guys in the comment section down below uh, give me some transfer suggestions because obviously that's what we need. As we can see here, we've got 87 million uh, to spend, which is a lot of money. Uh, we do have the option to sell some players again, but let me just go show you the squad for now. It's not very like the squad depth is not great so we've got the normal starters here um, obviously we don't have any left backs now because Willems and also Rose are loanies um, also right back wise we don't have a right back now because uh, Mankilo was obviously he, he already agreed to join uh, Sevilla I think it was so and yeah if you can tell here look at the squad depth it's uh, not very very good so in terms of positions that we need to upgrade we need at least we need a left two left basically we need a starting left back and right back and then also uh, a backup let me just check lazar's position probably a backup yeah backup right back and maybe oh well, we've got a left back here but he's not very good so maybe a two left backs and right backs um center back wise we've only got lejeune Konate, and lascelles because uh, on the bench we've got Watts, but I don't know if I'll use him at all. And we've got Shah as well, but he's on international duty. So maybe one more centre-back might have to come into play. Um, centre mid-wise, we've got, got Shelby and the Longstaff brothers, so we're probably covered for that position. Left wing and right wing again. We've only got really Aaron's, Murphy, uh, Tongi and Luka Bakio. I mean, we've got options. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure what we're going to do. Uh, to be honest, because uh, yeah, we we got a lot of positions that we could upgrade. Cam as well, because we've only got Almor on really. I mean, Foden's there, but I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of areas. Probably the, definitely the left back and right back we need to upgrade. Uh, we could potentially be looking at a new keeper if Dubravka is getting old on a bit. Um, but obviously, Martinez would be playing up front normally, but because Almor's on international duties, we have um, had to do that for now. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the shortlist for now because i had a few i put a few people in here angelina was one of the first left backs i did want to look at i'm gonna wait for the scout report for him uh duda uh a cam which i've put in there and fernando a left winger again we're gonna wait until i let you guys comment down below i've got in any position a striker central mid left back right back and also an attacker so hopefully that gives me like uh all attackers and not just strikers but i think it might just give me strikers um anyway so Today's action is going to be just the preseason simulated as always, uh, just because I don't want to kind of I, I kind of don't want to like start making transfers before you guys get your say, uh, and then I'll pick the best ones um, between you guys. So yeah, that this is going to be season two. Got a lot of money to spend. The first game is against Atalanta, which we are at already, so we will continue on from here. And um, so Newcastle. Win 3-2, Latoro Martinez, of all people, getting a hat-trick. Starting off the preseason as he left off in last season with another three goals to add. Uh, I don't think I'll be selling many players, to be honest. But again, we will see, depending if there, we get some big offers in. Uh, that's a scout report back from Duda. 78 rated, 11 million value. Not too bad. It could be a good rotational player, but for now, we're not going to really worry about that. Anyway, Real Betis is the next game they won their first game in the preseason tournament we are going to simulate this hopefully we can get a result against real betis and we won 4-1 again pretty convincing to maxim martinez and then lejeune getting two goals out of nowhere which you love to see now again transfer wise like i said i'm gonna wait for you guys just because i feel like if i start making signings people will probably not moan but they'll they want to have their say in the uh in the deals anyway moving on into the next preseason game against uh catolica they both they've lost both of the games so hopefully we can uh win and win all of our group games which we do camavinga and saint maxim getting the goals which puts us into the semi-final i do believe uh of a preseason tournament you you go straight into i think anyway we've got an additional 1.8 million which is really good 
because I think we'll go over 90 million by the end of this tournament. If I'm not mistaken, Nunez now is the next opponent. Can we beat them? They lost to Leverkusen, beat Atalanta. Um, so, 2 1 winners. Your Linton and St. Maxim getting the goals. You'll love to see it. Now, we're going to jump into the final against Leverkusen. And we also got an additional 2.7 million, which you love to see as always. Now, the final is against Leverkusen. Let's just go have a little look at how Leverkusen got there. So, let's go back. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. Semi finals, they beat Atalanta 2 1. And then the group stage, if I change the group, Group B, Leverkusen, oh, they topped the group. So they're literally the same as us. So we are going to advance to that game and we are going to play against Leverkusen. I'm not going to actually play the game. So we got on, wow, Shelby, 11 million for John Joe Shelby. Now he is 28. I am tempted to accept this just so we can bring in more players. A 28 year old John Joe Shelby for 11 million. Let's try and negotiate this offer. Let's just try and get a little bit more money. Try and see if uh, Spurs will, will give us more money after they left us out of the top four. So, they were 11 point thing. What about if we did ask for 13.5? I don't know if that's asking for too much. 11.8? Well, I'm going to go to 12.5. Uh, 12.5. Let's see if they want if they'll do that. 12.5. Okay, you're not willing to part of the show yet. These are willing to pay. Oh, let's go. Mourinho shakes the hand. Now, because I got a bit more money, that's pretty. That's why I kind of went with that deal. Leverkusen simulating the final. Let's see if we can win. It's, I think it's eight million altogether. If you win the whole tournament, we won five four on penalties. Martinez getting the two goals, Demery and Volan getting the goals for Leverkusen. And then we also got a red card with Lazar, but we won 5-4 on penalties. We've absolutely wiped the floor with the preseason tournament. And we also get some money now. 3.5 million for that. Uh, what's this? Newcastle board yourself? Oh, congratulations on the win of the tournament. Lazar got a two-match ban for the straight reds, obviously. Now, what is this, by the way? Is it? What is this? Final. Oh, is this the Community Shield? Oh, wow, okay. I didn't know this. Oh, because obviously we won the FA Cup and Liverpool won the league. Okay, let's see where that game actually is held. Okay, so it's there on the second. I think what I might do is play this game in this episode just to give you guys some highlights of the game, which I am going to do. So I'm going to jump into this game and then I will get back to you once we're at the game for the highlights. I will be right back. Right guys, as you can see here, Shelby has left the building. He's left Newcastle United and he has joined Spurs for 12.5 million. We have been given 9.5 million in the uh, bank balance. So let's just go check. So we're up to 104 million. Oh my days. Um, I have been doing a lot of um, scouting uh, and searching for some players uh, to add to the shortlist. Uh, again, some of them are scouted already. Some of them aren't. There's a lot of positions which uh, or players which some people may agree with, some people might not. Um, but I won't go through them today. Uh, I'm just letting you know that I've been doing that. We'll, we'll go through that in the, the next episode once I get all of your suggestions. And we'll put them all together as one and I'll pick the best players. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're going to jump forward now to the Liverpool game. If there's any highlights in between about players uh, leaving, uh, then I will do that. If not, we'll, I'll see you guys in the highlights. Right then, guys, as you can see here, the first game of well not the first game of the season but the first big game that is coming up also we won the preseason tournament and now we're playing liverpool in the community shield because obviously we won the fa cup and they won the premier league so this is uh, going to be a nice exciting game to kick off the season let's see if we can get a win here come liverpool with the first attack Konate can't deal with it apparently it's a free kick because shah tackled him i mean I, I didn't really see that um to be honest salah now with the ball, he's faked it. Firmino, good save by Dubravka. Pretty easy for him. Uh, I'm just waiting for someone to make a run. I'm just going to run out with Dubravka here because no one's uh, decided to make a run and help me out there. So Camavinga now. St. Maxim is making that run and he has. St. Maxim has the pace. Can he get the shot away? St. Maxim, 1 0 against Liverpool in the Community Shield. Love to see it. A counter attack from a goal kick. Uh, no, from a free kick in, 
in our uh, in our box. And then Dubravka ran out with the ball, played it to Kamavinga. He played it all the way down to St. Maxim. And he has banged it into the back of the net. And we are 1-0 up against Liverpool in the Community Shield. <laughs> Salah now, dangerous position. Shot is from Saul. And Konate has to make the block. Salah running for the short. Mane over the ball. Whipped in. Shah wins at the front post. At Maxim now battling with... Uh, I don't know who that is, actually. I didn't recognise the name. I thought it might have been Trent Alexander-Arnold, but clearly not. Anyway... Coming down the line now, Liverpool, Salah inside, Firmino is through, good save from Dubravka, we have to get rid of it now. Can we get rid of it? Yes. Martinez through to Samar, De La Vega now. That is a really nice pass, and I didn't actually mean that to go to St. Maxim. He's through again, the same shot, oh, it's a good save from the keeper, Allison there, good save. Salah now on the ball, good touch from him, plays it back inside, are we going to get there? Nice tackle from Lazar. He's impressed me so far since this, uh, this is his first game for us. Uh, good save from Dubravka, though. Again, now, Liverpool out of the corner. Salah over the ball. Can we get this one clear? Not a great delivery, but Dubravka is able to catch it. Can he just throw it out to De La Vega, who's actually in a lot of space? Here we go. Charging down the line with De La Vega, the youngster. He's got away from Alderweireld, I think that is. Stamina's probably going to run out soon. Can he ball roll through? Fake shot, De La Vega, good save from Allison again. Unlucky there from De La Vega, whipped in from St. Maxim now. Shah is there, so is Allison. Canate, oh, he couldn't really get anything there. Anyway, Lazar on the ball into Samar, plays it into Almiron, De La Vega. Martinez is through, can he get the shot away? Martinez is saved again by Allison. Good save from him, corner, whipped in, St. Maxim. Who's that front post? Martinez. Damn, pretty uh, far away, but we're creating some really good chances in this game so far. Almiron plays a lovely ball through to Togni. He's got a lot of space. He's got a lot of options in the middle. Almiron to finish the game off, and he can't. And now here come Liverpool. Henderson through Domino. Lejeune. Oh, that's no, so uh, Shah looking for the tackle there. That was a poor tackle from me. Mane, two added minutes now. Henderson, probably one last attack for Liverpool. Luka Bakio wins the ball. Shah into Samar, and that's it. We win the Community Shield against Liverpool. It was only a 1-0 win, but, you know, a win is a win. And that means a trophy to start off the season. Well, that's two trophies if you think about it. The pre-season tournament and also the Community Shield. We are going to wait for the celebrations, of course, uh, just to see uh, this. Obviously, you know, it, the Community Shield in real life is normally based off as a, as a pre-season uh, trophy um but you know i don't know i don't know that counts as a major trophy uh but a lot of people do think it is a pre-season one anyway here we go who's lifting it i think it's uh lascelles it is lascelles lifts the community shield with a win against liverpool only a one nil win but again a win is a win a trophy is a trophy this is gonna be the end of the episode if you did if you guys did enjoy Please make sure to leave a like. Comment your transfer suggestions down below. I really, really need your help uh, for new players. We've got £105 million um, to spend. So that, yeah, I really need your help with that. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.